Some people believe that the only explanation to the Arab Palestinians' terrorism is misery and wretchedness. In their eyes, Israel is the guilty partner held accountable in all cases. Well, today we're going to take a tour on the ground, drive the roads of Judea and Samaria. Life here is good for Jews and Arabs. But first, 77 stone-throwing incidents at Israeli vehicles were reported in the last 14 days. And we're sorry for missing last week's edition. In one incident, a hammer smashed the car's front window, breaking the driver's hand. In addition, 14 firebombs, two stabbing attempts and two firing incidents took place against Jews of Judea and Samaria, making it a total of 596 terror attacks from the beginning of 2019. Okay, so we promise you a feet on the ground tour. Bacheva! Down here! Yes, Ezri. So we're here at Ariel Junction. We're gonna be driving around a bit, getting to know some people. Come with me. It's gonna be a fun day. Okay, so it's a beautiful day here. We're on Route 505. The scenery here is absolutely breathtaking. I'm gonna be trying to socialize with some Israelis from here and some Palestinians. I'm just curious. Standing in Brooklyn at a random bus stop, have you ever seen a soldier standing with you to protect you? Could you tell me what's going on here with all the soldiers? Uh, the soldiers are watching from the terrorists that they, they have a hobby to murder Jews. Are you not afraid standing here now? Part of our lives. <laughs> wow! If I were a Palestinian, could I stand here waiting for a bus? Yes. They use our bus. Jews and Palestinians? Okay. Yes. Oh, thank you so thank much. You. This road leads to Palestinian village. The entrance for Israeli citizens is dangerous. Uh, we're not allowed to go in there? We don't, but it's uh, our own thing. Do you have a family? Do you have children? Six children. These over here, the cement and the poles here. Why are they here? Look at the sign. It says, Jews and Arabs want to get home safely. So we're heading into Khawara. It's an Arab village where Jews drive through. Okay, so we're gonna go for a little stroll here. Should we go into the store? Come on, let's go. Are you happy living here? I am happy. You're happy? I am happy. It is. I like it. This is interesting. This circle I'm sitting on right now was built with the help of American finances. It's amazing how you hold a microphone and everyone lets you cross the road. I should do this more often. Hey, how are you? Do you speak English? How are you doing? Do you speak English? This looks like a good shop to go into. Let's go shopping. Uh, like a peaceful uh, area here in Hawara. Really? Yes. Uh, kind of. Kind of. <laughs> so we're still in the town of Hawara. It's quite a large place. Oh my god, no way. Check this out, guys. I'm just outside. A drive through for KFC. Are you happy? This looks great. What is this? Okay, so this is what McLeod looks like, guys. Looks good. Okay, we are right here outside Nablus. I was told there's a military check-in to go in and out. There is no military checkpoint here. We just drove in and came out. The only thing we did see are these huge red signs clarifying Israelis cannot go in there. Could Israelis go into Nablus too? No. Why is that? Uh, for their security, I'd say. Okay, so we're on our way back. It's been an awesome day meeting a lot of people. If there's any segregation I saw, it seems it was towards Israelis in the area. Have a great day. Thank you for watching. There is much more to come. Join us. Together, we are stronger.